Alright, so I'm back. I've put the vertical fin on, made sure everything's all good, made sure it's still straight and the tail, uh, the tension in the tail belt was still good. Now it's time to put on the landing skid. With the landing skid you get these little black rubber plastic things. Um, I personally don't use them. Uh, you can put them on if you want. I'll show you where they go. You get four little self-tapper screws, two hoops and two pipes and you get four plastic ends to go into the end of your pipes. You just put them in with a little bit of CA and a little bit of kicker and you're done. Um, Alright, so first step. Just grab one of these uh, hoops. And you come over to your heli. Now, the way it's meant to go on your heli, if you look at it, see how it sweeps forward? That's the way you're meant to put it on. I don't do that. I put them backwards. Uh, two reasons. Looks more aggressive, a little bit better look, a little bit better looking, and also, if you look at the back here, with the spot forward, if you project a line down from the bottom of your tail, uh, from the bottom of your main shaft down to where the front of that skid is, it's very close. Your center of gravity is on that main shaft, and if you do have them reversed makes it a little bit more stable on landing and take off as well as looking better. So, flip this upside down. I usually do this in my lap. Uh, it's a lot easier to do. Uh, nitro helicopters, putting your tail skids on is one of the first things you do so that you can work with it. Because otherwise it gets too big and too heavy and they're rather difficult to work on. So. I just put this screw onto that driver and just put one screw in through that skid and into the black plastic lug of that base plate. And tension her up, there we go. Uh, don't need Loctite on this, it's not a critical component, doesn't really matter. Um, so I'll go through, I'll put the other ones in, and I'll be back.